actors and actresses will talk about going up on stage where they've learned their lines, they're totally memorized, but then they get on stage and boom, it's just gone. Their minds are just blank. If you've ever gone to take a test and you know the material, you've studied really hard and you know this material, and then you sit down to take the test, you're highly stressed out and boom, your mind goes blank and you can't remember anything, the hippocampus does not function well at all under high levels of stress. It just tanks. That is likely, at least in part, the hippocampus being flooded with cortisol and being unable to retrieve all of the information that you had studied so hard in order to learn the material for the test. But when you look at the amygdala, remember its job is primarily to track and encode the negative. These are emotions like anxiety, things that you fear, things that stress you out, maybe even things that make you really angry. The amygdala just ramps up and up and up and up with stress. The more stress it faces, the more cortisol molecules that are binding to the amygdala, the better it functions. So as you're getting stressed, your brain is prioritizing just these threatening objects or events in your environment. It's trying to protect you. 